Good morning. This is our fifth day of our Canadian Rocky trip. Driving on Ice Bill Parkway, one of the world's most scenic driving routes to Jasper. We will drive back to BAM, the same driving route. Icefield Parkway tomorrow. Come along with us. There are many sites to visit and take some pictures. The forecast weather report is going to rain for three days, so we are running into the rain. Over 100 glaciers. Turquoise Lake. Bow Lake is in Bam National Park. It's located along Icefield Parkway. The story of the Icefield Parkway began 50 million years ago. Fierce tectonic forces pushed the ocean floor and transformed it into the mountains. We saw the bear, let's get picture. We stopped at Athabasca Glacier. It's the most stop along the way. We hide up from the parking lot. Sorry we lost our videos. We will be back tomorrow for Glacier Adventure Tour. When we get to Athabasca Falls, it was raining. Beautiful and a must visit. Bad we lost our videos from GoPro cameras. See you tomorrow for the new adventure. Good morning, Jasper. Driving into Jasper downtown. It was raining all night last night. We were in the hotel, didn't have chance to get out. It's another beautiful town in the valley of Rocky Mountain. We can stay here only one night, no time to explore. We are driving back to BAM today. We'll stop at Columbia Ice Field for Athabasca Glacier Adventure. Enjoy morning walk in Jasper downtown. There are nearly 2 million visitors each year. Stop at bakery, a course, wide store.
time to go now. See you later, Jasper. Walking to Malin Canyon, we walk only short distance, didn't have much time. Malin Canyon is the most deep canyon in Jasper National Park and is considered most interesting canyon in Canadian Rockies. There are six bridges all together, but we only did two. Driving on Icefield Parkway from Jasper to Bam. We are running into the rain. We are going to stop at Columbia Ice Field and take the Glacier Tour. We already booked the ticket in the advance. It's about 188 US dollars for two of us. It's going to be good adventure on the rainy day. Skywalk is on the right side. We will be back after Glacier Adventure. We get to the parking lot at Columbia Ice Field. When 
we got to BAM National Park last week, it was a heat wave, very hot. Then we got into the rain this week. This is called adventure. We already have a ticket for bus tour, including Skywalk. Just need more information. We got here about 1 p.m., but our bus will be at 2.30. There is a restaurant and the museum downstairs. The rain stop. Let's check it out, get outside and take some pictures. Time to get on the bus. So exciting. We start with shuttle bus and transfer to the glacier bus. As the Basque glaciers ranking as North America most visit glacier. As its ticket point, it measures the height of Eiffel Tower. As the Basque Glacier is the largest glacier in Canadian Rocky Mountains. I'm going to run you through how this process is going to work, guys. I'm going to drop you off here and transfer you over to one of our ice explorers. Once you get on to the ice explorer, they will take you up to the turnaround point, which is where you will get 20 minutes, half an hour out on the glacier to take photos, drink some glacier water. And then once they're done, they will bring you back down here to get on a shuttle bus and take you up to your next destination. It isn't guaranteed that I am going to be your driver, so please remember to take all of your belongings with you, including family members and friends. Let's get on the glacier bus. You better be back and come pick us up. I'm not sure what they call this vehicle. I like to call glacier truck. This type of glacier truck, there are only 30 in the world. One glacier truck costs 1.3 million Canadian dollars. As the basket, glacier is the most easy to access in the world.
beyond the glaciers. This is my first time. Yeah, I am here. Highly recommend waterproof hiking boots. The Columbia Ice Field is the largest ice field in the Canadian Rockies and covers around 230 square meters at a depth up to 265 meters. The ice field forms a high altitude ice cap that lies on a plateau. The Athabasca Glacier is a large toe that extends down from the Columbia Ice Field. The Columbia Ice Field was formed during the Great Glaciation some 240,000 years ago. It's a little breezy up here, isn't it? Athabasca Glacier is at the base of several notable peaks such as Mount Athabasca and Andromeda and Snow Dome. These peaks set among the continental divide and most notable is Snow Dome where water flows to either the Pacific, Atlantic or the Arctic Ocean. Now we know Columbia Ice Field is extraordinarily important for water supply draining to three oceans. Time to go down now. You can spend time here about 20 to 30 minutes. Enjoy the ride both coming up and going down.
we finish with the glacier tour, we transfer to the shuttle bus to bring us to glacier skywalk. Is that cracking right here? Hey. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Time to clean up and go sleep. See you the next day for the new adventure.